19 minutes left to decide who goes as the winners of Group 5 to the World Cup finals. It's unbelievable, really, how you, you know, how you, you know, I, I, listen, we drew, but I mean, it's, uh, it didn't matter, did it? We had to win. We had to beat Poland. And we should have beat them. They're, you know, they were, they were a solid team, well-organised team, and they had a few decent players. But, um, you know, we were, I always felt we were, we were far superior to them. Done him once. Not a bad cross ball. And then Tomaszewski lost that one completely. He was certain it was going behind. The clown, huh? <laughs> it was that other clown at the other end was. Yeah, but you keep calling him, hey, Brian, you keep calling I him a clown. That's wrong, right? But in yeah, fact, that fellow has made yeah. some fantastic yeah. saves no, and he's, he's kept England... No, he he Listen, he had his day, didn't he, you know? Tomaszewski's not there. Away. And I always remember Casimir Daner. I played with him at Man City, and he was a great character, great player, and one of the Polish lads, you know. And you know, uh, and he said, "I don't know how we ever survived that night." People were saying, "Well, we should have been more patient." But how do you? How can you be more patient when you're camped in someone's penalty box? You know, I don't know. You get to the penalty box, you either got to shoot, get the ball in there, or something. You, you know, they weren't going to come out their penalty areas. You know, they were they were stuck on the on the edge of that, and you just hope that you wear them down. And you, when you look at the chances we had, and the goals that were disallowed, there was two or three. I had two goals disallowed in the in the match. And I mean, the, there was one there. I don't know what what he disallowed that for. This was the goal, wasn't it? This is when Roman Hunter lost it. Leaving down the right side, left, left side rather. Now it's Lato against McFarlane and Gudduk. The Dockers over there. Schultz would have saved this nine times out of ten. Oh, he scored! Tomaski's got a goal! Got right under him, didn't it? You know, and what do you do? When you make a little bit of an error like I did that night, along with Norman Hunter, you expect or you hope that uh, you're going to win the game 2 or 3 1, and that's what we should have done easily. But it wasn't to be, and it, it was probably the lowest point in my career at the time, and, and still is. That was a game you never thought. That, that, that you were going to end up as a draw, you were going to win it. But when they got that goal and went, you know, with, I don't know, about 20 minutes to go or whatever it was. All right, we've got the penalty. I just couldn't bear to watch. We've got it, to, you know, we've got, we've got back in the game. One, one. I don't know what else we could have done. The annoying thing is we had a pretty good team. You know, the team was probably as good a team. You know, when you think they finished third in the I mean, they were, they were moderate. Make no mistake about it. Have England got time now? No, they have not. It's over. Tick with it's Donald Duck. <laughs> Out of it, simple as that. <laughs> what a shame. Alf had been there for, for seven, eight or nine years that by then, and they sacked him. One of the blackest days they've ever had. So Alf Ramsey must be a very disheartened man. That was the one thing I can remember, was everyone sat in the bath. And no one said anything. It was the quietest bath, because in the bath after, you know, you usually have a crack and a bit of a laugh. And, but uh, on that night, phew, not a word said. But hey, life goes on. It's only a game. <laughs>